Okay, I'm going to try and make this video, but it's very windy out here. Forgive me if the sound quality is poor. So what's going on here is... I didn't winter very well. I have a lot of very weak nukes and colonies. But everybody has a queen. So I don't want to forfeit my queens. I don't want to just leave the very tiny clusters sit until they die and the queen dies. I consulted a couple of beekeepers whom I trust, whom have experience doing this kind of thing, and they assured me this is a, a very good method in order to boost these colonies. So what I have here is I have a, a colony on the bottom here. It's, it's a rather, rather strong. It's uh, one of my better ones. The fact that there's a, a a medium on top of that deep is irrelevant. Don't get sidetracked with that. So on top of this colony, so that both those boxes are brood chambers. There's nothing in between them. On top of that, I've laid newspaper, and you've all heard about newspaper combines, I'm sure. Um, I've laid a queen excluder, metal queen excluder. I've laid it. Uh, I've laid it this way up, particularly because what I'm planning to do here is I'm planning to place two very weak nukes on top of this. So what I've got is I've got one of my, what I call, double nuke boxes, a divider, just in a standard deep root chamber. Um, so the theory is here that these two nukes here, they're just sitting on top of that other colony. They're very weak. They have a queen. They should be viable if they had enough bees to start brooding, if they're not brooding already. So I'm gonna take these four frames from this nuke, and I'm just gonna lift them. Actually, I'll lift one, and then I can lift the other three, choose the three with the, the cluster on those three as a unit into here. If there's any bees left in that box, then I'll just upset that into the uh, into this side. So that's pretty much it. And the theory here is as a normal newspaper combine goes, I'm sorry for the shadows, etc. Uh, the bees in the strong colony below will eat their way through this newspaper in time and come up here and populate these nukes here. So I have a queen here and a queen here. Uh, two nukes. And then that'll populate these nukes enough. I believe I was told a week, give it a week, uh, that I should be able to then take these nukes back, set them off as nukes, and they should, they should grow. Um, I'm hoping that at that point then I can uh, well, soon after, anyway, that I can then take these nukes and put them into full 10 frame equipment. So, here goes nothing. I've never done this before, but again, I, I've consulted two uh, experienced beekeepers in my area. Uh, I independently asked them, what do I do with these little dinky clusters? And they each told me exactly the same solution. So, that's going to be the solution. Okay, so I... Yeah, I didn't show you the bees, but it's windy and it's not really terribly warm. So I had to do that fast. So you can see the newspaper, clean excluder, then these two nukes in here. So we can hope and pray, and uh, in a week we can open that box and see what's, see what's in there. Hopefully there'll be a box full of bees and a viable little cluster and uh, laying queen. Have fun.